What's up? In this video, we're going to talk about the Stone Gary production function. Let's go. Stone Gary production function takes the general form of f of x1 to xn is equal to the product of xi minus alpha i raised to gamma i, where i goes from 1 to n, where xi is our input, gamma i is our output elasticity for each input, and alpha i is the level of required investment or threshold factor requirement for each input xi. We can see that this is just a modification of the Cobb-Douglas production function as seen below. Why use the stone gary production function? The stone gary production function expresses the idea that there must be some initial investment before production can even begin. For example, if a farmer grows wheat and he needs at least 5 units of manure and 10 units of water to provide the conditions of growth, but afterwards it produces in a Cobb-Douglas manner, the best way to express this idea is by inclusion of a threshold factor requirement in the production function. Graphically speaking, if we want to go see the returns from one input, for let's say in our example, manure, we would see no production being happening at all until it hits five, right? Which is our threshold factor requirement. And then afterwards, we go and start seeing returns and diminishing returns from manure as an input. So that's the Stone Gary production function. Hope this helps.